What's up guys, it's Drax here. Today I'm gonna to be bringing you guys another top four male chart outfit video using clothing glitches. So the outfit you see in the thumbnail will be the outfit I'm gonna show you how to make, but we're gonna go ahead and start with the black joggers outfit. And to get the black joggers, you're gonna to wanna to pull up your interaction menu, go to services, go to mobile operations center, and request your MOC. After you have done this, you can then just hit pause, wait for it to spawn on the map. Mine will spawn right here. Once your MOC does spawn in on the map, you're then just gonna to wanna to head to the back of your MOC. After you do get inside your MOC, you're going to want to go ahead and go to the jobs inside your MOC. So it's going to say access mobile operations. After you are here, go ahead and hit right on the D-pad, log in, and scroll down to the bottom. And we're going to be using the work dispute so we can get the black jogger. So just go ahead and launch this job. And after you do launch this job, you guys will need a friend to help you out. And after you guys have a friend loaded in that can help you out, you can just go ahead and start the job. And for the difficulty, make sure you do set it to easy so then you guys do have more lives. But I'll just get back to you whenever I do load into the job. Once you load into the job, if you guys are the first player, which is the host, you guys will begin the black joggers. But if you're the second player, you're gonna be getting the red joggers. Whenever you guys fully load in, just go ahead and head to your apartment. When you do get to your apartment, just letting you guys know, if you guys are new to this, you guys cannot see your apartment on the map, so you will have to remember where your apartment is at. So whenever you are at your apartment, go ahead and walk up to the blue circle, and you're going to want to go ahead and blow yourself up. You can use a rocket or a sticky bomb. So whenever, once you're in the blue circle, just blow yourself up. And after you do load back into the session, go ahead and just walk into your apartment. Whenever you're here inside your apartment, go ahead and go down to the changing clothes section. Whenever you're here inside the closet, just go ahead and scroll down to your accessories and you're just gonna wanna change one part of your outfit. So just change the gloves or you can change the shoes. But since I'm just gonna go ahead and change the shoes, head to your accessories, scroll down to gloves and you can just put on any pair of gloves that you guys want. After you do equip the gloves that you guys do like with the, with the outfit, it really doesn't matter, but just go ahead and save this outfit on any slot. After you do save the outfit, you can now back up, back out of the closet, go ahead and you can now pull up your phone and just leave the job from your phone. When you do load back into a public session with the black joggers, you can go ahead and head to the clothing store so we can go ahead and do the outfit that you guys see in the thumbnail. Whenever you have made it to the clothing store with the black joggers outfit, you're now gonna to wanna to go over here to the top section Go ahead and just take off any top that your character has and make sure your character's topless, just like this. So now you can back out of the tops. We don't need to worry about the pants since we already do have the black joggers. Just go over here to your accessories, go to scarfs on slot three and equip the black desert scarf on slot two. Now that you have done this, go to gloves on slot seven and equip the black woolen gloves on slot 58. Whenever you have equipped the accessories, you can now back out of your accessories, go over here to your tops, Scroll down until you find sweaters on slot 39 and look for the black turtleneck, which will be right here on slot 69. After you do equip the black turtleneck, you can then back out of sweaters, scroll down to utility vest on slot 53, and you're going to equip the diamond strike vest. And just letting you guys know, you have to fully complete the diamond casino heist. It doesn't matter what approach you guys choose. You guys just have to fully complete the diamond casino heist. And then after you do complete the diamond casino heist this week, then you guys will be able to have the diamond strike vest. Just letting you know, this does end in two days. So if you guys don't have this vest now or within the weekly update, whenever it ends, then you guys can't get it anymore. So once this weekly update does end, you guys aren't able to get it anymore. But once you have equipped the, the diamond strike vest and the black turtleneck, you can then just back out of the top section, head over here to your shoes, go to sneakers on slot two and equip the purple plain high tops on slot 12. Now that you have done that, back out of your shoes, and now we're gonna work on the purple thermal quad lens, just like this. So to be able to get this, you will, you will wanna go over here to your hats, scroll down to helmets on slot 16, and you're gonna look for the, the pink open face helmet will be right here on slot 85. So you're gonna wanna go ahead and buy this. After you do buy the, the pink open face helmet, you can now back out of helmets, scroll down to combat helmets on slot 22, and you're gonna look for the zebra quad lens. So go ahead and equip the zebra quad lens, which will be on slot 24. Now that you have done that, back out of the hats, 
pull up your interaction menu, go to style, go to your bike helmets and set your bike helmet to the pink open face helmet, just like this. So just scroll through your helmet, your bike helmet until you find it. Now that your bike helmet is set to the pink open face helmet, back out of style, register as a CEO. So click on secure serve, register as an organization. And now you're gonna wanna find a car when you do have your car, you're now just gonna to wanna to pull up your interaction menu up again. You should be registered in a, in a CEO. Now, whenever you have your interaction menu up, hover over style. Now, get inside the car, scroll up to secure serve CEO, click on it, go to management, go to CEO style, and on your CEO style, you're gonna scroll one time to the right and then one time to the left back to none. You should see that the thermal quad lens is now on your character. Now hop out of the car and just put away your interaction menu and hold right on your D-pad just like this and you'll see that the thermal quad lens turn purple just like that now if you guys want the quad lens to go down hold right on your d-pad again you'll see that they go down and now for the final part of this outfit it's going to be over here at the mask store once you've made it to the mask store walk over here to the mask go to ski mask on slot 19 and equip the black tight ski on slot 114 which will be all the way at the bottom you should see that it does merge with your quad lens just like this and now you can just hit the edit saved outfits and save this outfit on whichever slot you want. Whenever you save it, that's pretty much it. So I thought this was a pretty cool outfit to make with the new strike vest. So I hope you guys do enjoy this outfit. It's a pretty nice outfit. If you are wondering what it looks like in the pause menu, here you guys go. So this is a pretty nice outfit. Yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy. Now after you did save it, we can now move on to the second male glitched outfit. So once you are back at the clothing store, now I'm gonna show you guys on how to make this outfit. To make this outfit, walk up here to the front counter, scroll down until you find the Heist Tactical Stealth, which will be on slot 20, and equip the pincer outfit. So to, whenever you guys equip the pincer outfit, it gives you these pants and the boots together. If you guys try to go to the pants section, and then you guys equip these pants, and then go to the shoes and try to equip these boots, it doesn't let you. I don't know why, that's just how Rockstar made it. So you have to equip the pincer outfit. Once you have equipped the pincer outfit, you can then just back out of the front counter and now go over here to your tops, scroll down until you do special tops, which will be on slot 22, go to unlocks, which will be on slot 11. And you're just gonna look for the hand signal t-shirt that I did have. So it's gonna be this, can't touch this t-shirt. For me, it's on slot 36. I don't know how to unlock this t-shirt. Maybe it's whenever you guys automatically get online, but I've had this t-shirt for a while. I just don't know how to unlock it. So hopefully you guys have it, but you guys will wanna make sure you have this t-shirt unlocked. Whenever you guys do have this can't touch this t-shirt, you can now back out of unlocks, back out of special tops, go to t-shirts, which is on slot 23, and you're gonna look for the black t-shirt. So look for the black t-shirt right here on slot 28, and you're gonna equip this t-shirt. When you do equip this t-shirt, back out of the tops, we don't need to worry about the pants since we do have those. Go over here to your accessories, scroll down to cuffs on slot eight, and equip the spike talent for your left arm, which will be on slot 18. And if you scroll down to slot 30, 32, and it, it's gonna be the spiked gauntlet for your right arm. Once you do equip the spiked gauntlet for your left and right arm, back out of cuffs, go to gloves on slot seven, and equip the black fingerless gloves on slot 56. Now that you do have your accessories, back out, head over here to your hats, go to bulletproof helmets on slot 19, and equip the black bulletproof. After you do equip the black bulletproof helmet, go over here to the glasses, and so you guys had to have logged it on on a certain day to be able to get these. So go to glow glasses and you're gonna wanna make sure you have the orange glow shades. If you guys don't have these, then I guess you guys can go to gun range glasses and equip the orange guns, which is pretty close, or you can use the yellow guns, but I think the orange guns look better. Whatever you guys like, but I'm using the glow glasses, the orange glow shades. So after you do equip the orange glow shades on your character, you can then just back out and now you're going to want to head to your apartment and we're going to be merging the logo over to this black t-shirt. After you do make it to your apartment, you're just going to want to go in here to the changing clothes area, click on your tops, and you're going to look for special tops. So for me, it's probably going to be right here on slot 23. For you, it's probably going to be on a different slot, but go ahead and click on special tops. Go to unlocks, click on unlocks, and look for the can't stop me t or the can't touch this t-shirt. For me, it's on slot 36. Maybe it's on a different slot for you, but go ahead and just hover over this t-shirt. Don't click on it, just hover over it. After you are hovering over it, you're then just gonna wanna hit pause, go to online, or you can join one of your friends. So if you, have, if you guys have a friend online, you guys can join somebody off of there. But if you guys don't, go to online, 
go to cruise, you can join somebody from your crew or your friend's crew, or if you have invitations or somebody in the leaderboard, click on leaderboards. And then I'm just gonna use the IGN crew and I'm gonna view the members and I'm just gonna join somebody off of here. So just go ahead and join somebody. And once you do join them, you should see that the logo does merge over to the black t-shirt whenever I load into the lobby. And you guys can see that I loaded into the session and the logo did transfer over to the black t-shirt just like this. Now, I don't know why the mask is on my character, but if, for the this outfit, you're just gonna wanna head over here to the mask store. Now that you are at the mask store, walk over here to the mask, go to ski mask on slot 19 and equip the black tie ski on slot 114. After you do equip the black tie ski, you should see that the that the orange glow shades do come off. So we're gonna head over here to the pier to do the telescope glitch and merge the orange glow shades over with this mask and helmet. When you do find a telescope on the pier, all you want to do is the telescope glitch. You're going to run past the telescope like this, hit right on the D-pad. You'll see that your character runs in place. Then look towards the telescope just like this. That's how you know you're glitched. Pull up your interaction menu, go to style, go to your accessories, and scroll through your glasses until you do find the orange glow shades. After you do find the orange glow shades, you will see that your mask does come off, but you guys don't have to worry. Just put away your interaction menu, walk away from the telescope, and you will see that the mask, the glasses, and the helmet do merge together just like this and this is what your outfit will look like whenever you're done so now you can just go to the clothing store and save the outfit but if you guys are wondering what it looks like in the pause menu here you guys go pretty cool outfit i do like this a lot because i know a lot of i don't see a lot of people wearing this t-shirt so i think this might be a rare t-shirt i'm not really sure but for me i don't i don't see a lot of people wearing it but after you do go to the clothing store and save it that's pretty much it now that you did save it we can move on to the third male glitched outfit Okay guys, so for the next outfit, it's going to be this tan joggers outfit. So to get the tan joggers, you're going to want to go over here to this clothing store where I'm at right here on the map, just because it does give you the job right here next to the clothing store and it's very important. When you are here, make sure you guys have this job showing up on the map. If you guys don't have it on the map, pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to map blimp options, go to jobs, go to stunt races, and if it does say hide like this, just press right on the D-pad and you'll have it set to show and you'll see that it does show up just like this. Once it does show up on the map, you're now gonna wanna back out of your interaction menu and you're gonna look for, or you're gonna back out of the map blimp options and you're gonna register as a CEO. Once you do register as a CEO, click on secure serve CEO, go to management, go to style and on your CEO style, look for the warlord outfit, which gives you the tan joggers just like this. Once you do equip the Warlord outfit, you can then just back out of your interaction menu, walk into the blue circle just like this, and enter. Whenever you do enter the job, it's going to load, load you into the job. You can then, you don't have to change anything, just start the, just confirm the settings, and then launch the job on your own. After you do launch the job on your own, it's going to have you scroll through your motorcycles. Just scroll through your motorcycles or the random motorcycles it gives you for a few seconds. Once you do scroll through the motorcycles, all you need to do now is just leave. Once you do leave, it's gonna load you into the outfit you had on before the Warlord. Once it does, you're gonna wanna run inside the clothing store as fast as you can. So whenever you run inside the clothing store, go up to the front counter and hit right on the D-pad whenever you are here and just sit here until it fully kicks you out. It could maybe take up to 10 to 30 seconds, depending, I don't know how, on how long it's gonna hold you in there. But once it does kick you out, you can now pull up your interaction menu. You should see that you are wearing the Warlord outfit. Pull up your interaction menu and retire from your CEO. And you should see that you are wearing the Tan Joggers outfit just like this. Now, I'm going to show you guys on how to make the Tan Joggers outfit that you see in the thumbnail. To make this outfit, walk over here to your tops. Scroll down until you find Bomber Jackets, which will be on slot 12. And equip the Black Trickster Bomber on slot 12. Whenever you do equip this bomber jacket, back out of the tops. We don't need to worry about the pants since we already have the tan joggers. Head over here to the accessories. Go to gloves on slot 7 and equip the black woolen gloves on slot 58. After you do equip the black woolen gloves, back out of your accessories. Head over here to your shoes. Go to smart shoes, or go to sports shoes, my bad, which will be on slot 9. And you're going to equip the yellow accent sports shoes on slot 74. When you do equip the yellow accent sports shoes, you can then just back out of the shoes. And before we go to the hats, you're gonna wanna equip the rebreather. So to do this, pull up your interaction menu, 
go to style, go to your accessories, and in your gear, you're gonna scroll one time to the right, and it should be the rebreather, just like this. If you guys don't have the rebreather in your gear, go to any gun store on the map, go to the middle counter where it says gear, and you're gonna go ahead and buy the rebreather. So it's gonna show you your earpieces, the night vision goggles, and then at the bottom, it's gonna be the rebreather. Go ahead and buy the rebreather. After you do equip the rebreather on your character, go back to the clothing store, head over here to your hats, go to bulletproof helmets on slot 19, and just equip the black bulletproof. And after you do that, that's pretty much it for this outfit. So now you can walk up here to the front counter. If you are wondering what it looks like in the pause menu, here you guys go. So this is a pretty nice tan joggers outfit. But after you have made this outfit, walk up here to the front counter, hit edit saved outfits, and save the outfit on whichever slot you want. After you do save the outfit, that's pretty much it. Now we can move on to the fourth male glitched outfit. This is going to be the final glitched outfit that I'm going to show you on how to make. So the only glitch part on this outfit is the IAA badge. And I'm going to show you on how to make it with this outfit. So I'm going to first remove the IAA badge off this outfit. And so now that I did that, now onto the outfit. For the outfit, head over here to your tops. Scroll down until you find bomber jackets, which will be on slot 12. And you're going to equip the Clifford Varsity on slot 2. And just letting you know, this was from the last weekly update. You guys can't get it anymore unless you unlocked it from the last weekly update. So for you to unlock this from the last weekly update, you had to have completed Act 2 from the Doomsday Heist. You had to fully complete the Act 2 of the Doomsday Heist, and then you guys unlock this Clifford Varsity. But after you do equip this Clifford Varsity jacket, you can now back out of your tops, head over here to your pants, click on Jeans on slot 1, and equip the Midnight Camo Fitted, on slot 41. After you do equip the midnight camo fitted jeans, head over here to your accessories, go to gloves on slot seven and equip the black woolen gloves on slot 58. That's gonna be all for the accessories. After you equip the black woolen gloves, head over here to your shoes, go to skate shoes on slot three and equip the blue skate shoes on slot seven. When you have done this, you can then back out of the shoes. We're gonna worry about the helmet later because it's gonna come off anyway. But for this outfit, walk up here to the front counter, hit edit saved outfits, and save this outfit on whichever slot you want. After you do save the outfit, you're now going to want to go ahead and just back out once it does save. And now we're going to head over here to the UL paper mission to get the IAA. So just go over here and I will get back to you when I do get to the mission. When you do make it over here to the UL paper mission, you're then just going to want to start up a playlist or make your own playlist. So do that, just hit pause. Go to online, click on playlist, go ahead and click on create, go to add parachute jump, click on add parachute jump and add the top one called a ridge too far. Now that it is in your playlist, go ahead and back out of parachuting, scroll down to bottom, scroll down to the bottom and click on save playlist and you're just going to name it whatever you want. I'm naming it IAA because I'm getting the IAA badge, but after you do fully save it, you can then just go ahead and back out of your pause menu and walk into the yellow circle just like this. When you are in the yellow circle, you're now just going to want to hit pause, go to online, click on playlist, click on my playlist, click on whatever you guys named your job, and it's going to say, are you sure you want to start your playlist? You're going to go ahead and hit OK. As soon as you hit OK, spam right on the D-pad as fast as you can until you do join the job. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK, and then I'm going to start spamming right on the D-pad as fast as I can until I do join the job. This is what it should look like. It should say UL ULP Intelligence with this type of background as your details. So now that you have done that, just go ahead and confirm the settings and then launch the job on your own. When you launch the job on your own, you should have a background of your outfit with the IAA building, just like this with the Eagle. If it's something else like the beach and you guys are, and if it's not this background, then you guys have to quit the job and retry the glitch again. But whenever you outfit and this is your background, just hit ready to play. After you are in the job, you should see your character IAA badge just like this. All you want to do is just hit pause. Remember where your apartment is at because you guys can't see it, but you're just going to want to go to your apartment and I will get back to you when I do get inside my apartment. Now that you have made it inside your apartment, go over here to the changing clothes area. Then you're just going to want to hit edit saved outfits and save this outfit on whichever slot you want. After you do save the outfit, you can now back out of your change in clothes area and just pull up your phone and quit the job from your phone. After you are back in a public session, you're now going to want to pull up your interaction menu, go to style, 
go to your outfits. You guys will see that the IAA badge is not on your character. Just go to the outfit that you did save earlier whenever you were inside the job and equip that outfit. And now the badge is on your character. When the badge is on your character, go to any clothing store on the map and then head over here to your hats. Go to bulletproof helmets on slot 19 and just equip the black bulletproof. And whenever you do that, that's pretty much it for this outfit. So now you can go up here to the front counter, hit edit saved outfits and save the outfit on whichever slot you want. So yeah, I hope you guys do enjoy these four glitched outfits that you guys did make today or that you guys see in the thumbnail. So I hope you guys did enjoy. Please like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.